Hey guys, Catherine here. I am going to show you what I'm doing today. Today I am showing you the filling, the resin pouring of those hummingbird molds that I showed you the making of the other day. And um, I have baked the Sculpey bezels and I have coated the back in a thin layer of UV resin because I think it will help create a better seal um, against the back of it when I'm filling it with regular resin. And I am ready to put the bit of masking tape on the back. So I've got a piece that I've cut to relatively the right size and I am going to cover the most of the bezel, uh, the back of the bezel that I can with this masking tape. And the masking tape is a little too small to cover it all in one sheet. So I am using two pieces. Go. Then I'm just going to go through and make sure that everything is pressed down and connecting really well. Go. Make sure that everything's getting good contact. Oh, see, and that's not sticking on. So let's see. The resin might not be fully cured. It is UV resin, so all I have to do is put the light to it and give it a couple more seconds. I've noticed that if the resin isn't entirely cured, the tape doesn't stick well to it. So we'll try and see if we can't get the tape to stick a little bit better. And then try pressing it down again. There we go. That's giving us a better seal. That's what we like to see. And then I'll flip it over and give it a good firm press against the flat surface. See if I can't wiggle it around a bit, get something. Oh, and it wants to stick to me now too. <laughs> That's okay. And there we have it. And then I've already got my resin mixed up. And what I'm going to do is just test and make sure this hold is on good. I'm going to fill the bottom of the bezel with just a little bit of uncolored resin. I'm going to be doing this resin colored. Um, with my dyes, but I want to dye the resin in the bezel itself and see how that turns out. See if I can't get some better individual reactions from it by doing it this way. Go. And then just press it around inside of the bezel a little bit. because it just needs to be a thin layer on the bottom for now. There we are. For that wing. And the smaller wing is going to be tricky because it's a very small opening, but See if we can't just land it right inside and not fill it up too full. I'll take a toothpick in just a second and even it out some. Okay. There we go. Get everything even. There we go. Now that I've got a good thin layer on the bottom, I'm going to go through and fill it up fuller. Because it'll spread itself evenly now. Let's 
hopefully. Is the idea. Anyway. There we go. And then a little bit more. And then I think it might be close to time for coloring. I think I'm going to try and pop some of these bubbles before I color it though. And to do that, I'm just going to take a lighter and run it lightly and close over the surface. Because it just, it makes the resin slightly more fluid and therefore more likely thinner, well, not more likely thinner, and therefore more thin so that the resin can release the trapped air more easily. There we go. And I do think I'm going to put just a tiny drizzle more in that wing. Seems didn't get it entirely full before. There we go. All right. And I think I want to start by giving him a red collar because this will be a male hummingbird, I think. So to give it some red, I'm just going to see if that'll, no, okay, hmm. Think about this a little bit more maybe. run it down the aha there we go so take the dye and run it down the the toothpick that'll give us what we want and then just mix it in and keep mixing it until it's blended There we are. That's pretty well blended, I think. Maybe a little bit more stirring. And then the hummingbird will be blue and green for the rest of him. So I will put my red away and grab my blue because he's going to, I think, be predominantly blue. I'd prefer that. Let's go. Then just run a tiny drip down my toothpick and stir it in here. Really well, as well as it'll go. Anyway. And another one down into the wing. Go, mix it in as well as possible and draw it up a little bit. And then one last one into his tail. And that's it going to be it for the blue, I think. Actually, I might drop a little bit into his second wing too. I think I want both wings to be blue.
There we go. And then for his body, I'm thinking green. So you can put a little drop on my toothpick and mix it into the body. Ooh, that's got a lot of saturation to it very quickly. That green's a dark, heavy color. That's okay, though. Give us a good difference in the in between him, his colors. There we go. And there we have it. A hummingbird in red and blue and green. And now just to wait for it to cure. This will take 24 to 48 hours for this resin to cure, so I'm going to have to be patient. Um, but as soon as he's cured, I'll take a picture and we'll see what he ends up looking like. Uh, thank you guys for checking it out today. I was happy to show you what I was doing today, and I'd be glad to know what you are doing to do as, today as well. Um, you can let me know what you're doing in the comments below, and if it's something I haven't tried before, or if it's something that I just haven't done in a while, I might try it out for this channel too. Uh, thank you for watching, and see you later!